AR OBD to configuration. In order to connect them between each other, need to hold some manipulation. Namely, we press and hold the button, configuration. Power supply from USB. Either from OB to connector. Indicator flashing blue one once a second. It says that, that Arab went into mode, configuration. Go to Wi-Fi network. And find the AROBD to network. Connect with settings. Password 1 to 8. After setting the connection, go to the browser and type. Go to settings, AR OBD2. In these settings, we can see your MAC address, firmware version, ARID is the name by. With same you can connect with another device. It is unique to you. Consists of five characters. And maybe let's say five four three to one or a one to three four. This is your key to connect to the same device. They must be the same. What in the master? What in slave? Further in settings, need to install. Internet settings. Here we enter. SSID and password from of your router asterisk to connect this device to the internet. And adjust the speed of Kana. Default she is 500 bit per second. As a rule, in many cars this speed is. If you don't know her or will not connect. But it can connect with little delay. That is not from the first connection and from the second. After the settings, click save and configuration. And the device reboots and searches the network. Since we don't have a network now set up, he to be flashing dough. Infinitely long. Same we spend with master. Press configuration. Sir food. He goes into mode, configuration after which. We also connect to it. And set up. It's internet. And. It's customize its internet its NAIRID. Well and also speed if you have slave. In auto mode. You can use slave mode for slave. Then when the master determines the speed request from diagnostic equipment. He will pass slave and slave. In fashion slave mode will install that speed. Defined by master. Next I will show how connects. Now I will connect to the internet and show you how. Look at the server. What happens to the settings? After connecting two devices to the server and connections among themselves. Gonna glow blue, LED. Now this is to check out connection you will need. Entering the server arobt.u.biz.ua. Account, AIROBD, password, USPRO. When logging onto this server, you enter your RID. In the window I have there, 57 recorded. And in this window, you will see. At what point was happening, connection here is connection. Here's the connection. Here's the connection. And will also be visible IP address. Which connects and port. IP address port. Cannot use the same one router to connect two devices. At the moment, I have this device connected to the router, and this device is connected to the phone. If you use the same router, then most likely will connection problem. Therefore, use different connections. 
Here in the given moment shows what is this different different IP address. That is, it is a phone, and this is mine. Router. Also here you will see who is in touch. And this poppy address can see. Web interface in settings, configuration. IP address and here you can see. That is, it will be seen who it is in touch. Master slave. And from what IP address he connected. And when both get in touch, connection occurs. And here is such an indication. And on the devices themselves too, will be indication. Matching with two, burning blue LED. Green LEDs, display. What do we have can one used? That is, the first can. Which is usually, in all machines used for diagnostics. Second can. Used for multimedia peripherals. To switch them, enough is enough. For two seconds press the configuration button. And the device will switch. And there will be only. Burn while. Blue green will be extinguished, LED. Red LED, here now not flashing, because device, not connected, will blink when, data from can come, in Iraq. That is, as soon as they, are coming, respectively. Respectively red, the LED will start flashing. If you have. Happens on the server, you can see what is happening, connection. And blue LEDs are not, light up. It is possible that the problem, with provider. You need to go to. Test my NAT and request. What type of NAT do you use? These sites are not, sure this one. Check your NAT. In this case, I have port restricted. This port with small, restrictions type NAT too. Everything will work on it. But it may be. Longer connect or. Not the first time they connect. This can be. Out of full can. Then this is the floor absolutely, the perfect internet. NAT type 1 which connects always everything the first time. NAT3 is generally more likely everything will work nothing because it's over, which closes direct connections between users. NAT restricted. Or you have issues with connect. Try to put your phone in air mode. And then create again access point. Because sometimes the phone gets a port that is in a restriction from con. In that to has direct connection limit. Therefore, the transition to air mode you reset. Get a new IP address with the new ports or port ranges. So this decision is always helps.